Has it been your lifelong ambition to play as a helicopter? Or a lawnmower? Or anything else with blades that moves really fast? In a zombie game? Well, your dreams are about to come true. Look at this gameplay. Ah yeah, let's get into it. What's up everyone, Extend here. Let's take a look at the same gameplay, but slow it down to 25% speed. We can melee a little over four times a second. Isn't that just crazy? So which cards are we using to be this indestructible melee machine? Well, honestly, it's basically all the melee cards in the game combined with a lot of stamina. We start with Batter Up, which gives you a nice 50% melee damage. Then Spiky Bits for 25% more melee damage and some damage resistance. The minus 15% ammo capacity won't hurt you because you're melleeing. Mean Drunk gives you another 75% melee damage, but it disables your sprint, which kind of sucks. So you can save this card for the later maps if you like. Adrenaline Fueled is the most important stamina card. It gives you 100% more stamina, but 75% less stamina regeneration. However, this doesn't matter as you get 10 stamina back on a kill. And remember, we can't sprint anymore. So the only time we're using stamina is when melleeing. And when you're melleeing, you're killing. Methhead, Brazen and Slugger give you more attack speed and more stamina efficiency. So we can melee for longer. Especially when you miss a target and you don't get stamina back from Adrenaline Fueled. Then we'll add some cards to keep us alive. Face Your Fears and Battle Lost are both very good cards that give you health, or temporary health, on a melee kill. So as long as you're killing, you're not dying. Sunder will cause your targets to take 20% increased damage for 5 seconds, which is nice against mutations. You might think Berserker is overkill at this point, and it is for the melee damage, but the 10% melee speed and 5% move speed for each melee kill in the last 5 seconds is really noticeable when you're slashing through hordes. Ignore the pain is nice against mutations. You deal more damage and you gain temporary health. It's nice for those tanky tall boys. Heavy hitter is nice if you can hit those weak spots. It can be a bit challenging if I'm honest. The last two cards don't really matter. I went with wounded animal and cross trainers, but I found that I didn't really need them. I would advise you to go with cards that give you move speed since you can't sprint anymore. And then that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the build and the gameplay in the background. If you'd like more Back for Blood videos then leave a like and subscribe. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.